very good to go. Now, the spokesperson of the Alliance for National Transformation, NT, Jared Karanga, has advised political parties to take advantage of early political campaigns and prepare themselves if they are to outperform the ruling NRM in the 2026 general elections. Most parties have hit the ground holding meetings and consultations ahead of the elections. Now, Jared Karanga believes this will see them come up with quality and committed leaders to drive the country. Nearly two years to 2026 general elections, Political parties, FDC, ANT, NRM, among others, have already hit the ground, engaged in different political activities, strategizing for 2026. This move has been deemed appropriate and timely by ANT spokesperson Gerard Karuhanga, who says it is such a time that parties are able to recruit committed members with potential to drive the party ideology. When you give it time, then you begin to identify the uh, um, very strategic leaders, uh, people who are committed, who, who are focused, but also uh, people who are largely selfless. According to Gerard Karuhanga, it's high time parties started to engage electorates straight after elections have ended without necessarily waiting for the last hour. We must deliberately have a, a very well uh, orchestrated approach that is very intentional in nature that focuses on looking out for the political players uh, who really mean great for the nation uh, and are willing uh, not just to say it in words but to live up to it. Early campaigns and political activities have equally been supported by Dr. Gerard Werike, a governance and public policy expert who says elections are not an event but rather a process which was kick-started last year when Electoral Commission launched its 2026 roadmap. When the roadmap is, is released, the electoral process is set in motion. Uh, when you are not prepared, you cannot do anything useful in the electoral process. Alliance for National Transformation, you know that uh, their performance the other time was not so good. Probably they came in the electoral com uh, process very late. They must have learned lessons. All right, let me bring in our reporter here, Ramson uh, Mahiwe, who has been following this story. Ramson, do these early campaigns have anything to offer? The 2026 elections fever is in air, and all political parties are trying to do something to endear themselves to voters. The question is, what can these early preparations help, especially those in opposition, in attaining their ultimate goal, which is loosening President Museveni's grip in Uganda? Look at what happened in, uh, in, uh, in the north recently when we had a by-election. What was the by-election? What were the results like? It frightens them that people, regardless of the, what they say, they've got their own mind. The voters in this country, the political class should learn. There is now a gap between the voter and the political class. The political class are in a different world. They are in the world of deceit, a world of hating each other, a world of shaming our country, a world of doing things that do not help us. And it is not one political party or the other, all of them, including the ruling party. The voter knows what they are up to. By the way, these people, they don't need to go and campaign. The voters know who to choose. They know. When you go there, and you say you want to vote, they already know who they want to choose. I hear them accusing the Electoral Commission. It's not independent. But just next door here, there was an Electoral Commission which was chosen the way they want to be chosen by making drama on television, people talking, asking them questions, how many wives they have, how much money they have. They eventually chose an Electoral Commission. They called it independent bound, something independent boundaries commission. What happened after the elections? They said they were not independent. So how, what sort of independent electoral commission do you want us to choose? Should we ask God to give us angels? It doesn't matter. If the political class cannot have discipline to respect institutions of government, then we're in a lot of trouble.